Hey, hey, royalty. Hey, Empress. Hey, Empresses. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. And I had a beautiful, beautiful, blessed birthday. I just want to say I thank you. Thank you guys so much. I love y'all so much. May God, that God continue to protect you, cover you, and keep you safe. I love y'all. And I thank you. First things first, I only have one YouTube page, one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You will only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. So let's begin now. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest and light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide you. I have clicked on this video today. What other messages for Virgo? Some of them are Venus and North Pole. Virgo. Ooh, Virgo. So you guys are seers. I'm speaking to someone who is very intuitive, a reader even. Okay, you could be very empathic. You guys could be psychic. Okay, it's also you guys could be going to a seer or getting a reading done, getting readings done to try to figure out like what to do about your situation I'm seeing here. Okay, it's also something about you needing to see beyond what's happening. Okay, you need to see like what's being shown is deeper, it's bigger. Okay, it's something about your situation, your connection, an environment, a person, place, something in your life you like you guys are trying to get insight on. It's bigger, it's deeper than what you guys may know. Okay, you could be finding that out as well. Oh yeah, I see you guys like sh like shape shifting your energy. I'm yeah, so you guys are shape shifters. You know how to embody this energy, embody that energy. Well, that's Virgo energy. That's the hermit. Okay? You guys are transforming. This is also you, like, coming out. Okay? Like, literally in different type of energies. Okay? Your gifts, your talents are exposing themselves at this time. An eagle could be significant. A wolf, a snake could be significant. You guys are transforming, and it's like people around you could be like even asking, like, what's going on with you? Because I'm looking at this person's face, and it's too different. So people could be asking, like, or looking at you and saying, like, something is different about you. What's changing? You guys are changing on like an inner level, and it could be exuding outward into your into your your world. Yeah, there's also something about a pet. Okay, you could be getting a pet. You may like pets, love pets. Okay. It's all about you trusting in your instincts at this time. You trusting in your intuition, your judgment to guide you, to keep you safe, and to give you direction. Yeah, it's also like you're going to have to, like, change up your energy in different situations. It's like you could be, I'm picking up on the energy of you could be one way in this environment or one way in this environment. It's like your gifts are going to be showing itself to, to help you, to protect you, to guide you. Because certain things, it's something about you needing to, like, be in a different type of energy or even a mindset, or even use a specific gift when you are in a certain environment, place, or around a certain person. Okay, that's just what it is. Like, yes, like literally, yes. Like that. That's just what it is. Like, I don't know if you guys are wanting to stay in this energy or wanting to stay in a specific type of energy, and that's fine. You know, you always vibe in love, but you don't don't be naive around somebody that you know is a liar or a thief or someone that's a cheat. You know, someone that you know is of dark energy. Don't try to you know, literally set yourself up to be stabbed, like emotionally backstabbed or manipulated or played or used and abused, okay? Like, use me for my gifts. Use me for, like, what God has put me here for, but don't abuse me. This is different, you know? Everybody here is, has a purpose. Everybody here is supposed to be used in some type of way, you know, whether it's for their knowledge, their intellect. It's like, you know, that's why there's doctors. That's why there's lawyers, you know? That's why there's judges. That's why there's, like, you know... Uh, government officials that's why there's people you know literally that are doing different things everybody's being utilized for a specific gift even if it's in customer service you know them being loving kind empathetic being able to connect on a deeper level or just being that person to say hey how you doing whatever it is it's like some type of it's, it's an energy that you guys are in that you guys need to like strengthen put armor on okay literally and and know like where you're where to use your energy at and with who Okay, luck is on your side at this time. You're very lucky. Okay, you are still getting ready to receive a yes, receive a confirmation. This is also like your a confirmation in regards to if you've been feeling distant from a person. Yes, that's exactly what's happening. You guys could be emotionally distant, 
physically distant. There's distance. Okay, your intuition hasn't been lying to you. Yeah. You go, you could also be getting ready to be asked out on a date. Okay, somebody here could be getting ready to try to like wine and dine you. They want you to say yes. Okay, this could be someone that you are currently like distant from at this time, or they could be at a distance from you. Okay, be mindful because somebody here they they do spell work. Okay, they believe, yeah, this is the person you are definitely distant from. Okay, they could be trying to like manipulate you with the witch being here. Somebody does things like they love spell beings here. They're trying to put you back underneath like their energy or make you feel like how they want you to feel towards them. Your angels are all around you, Virgo. You have a passed over loved one that watches you and that's guiding you and that's keeping you safe and that's telling you like, listen, go here, go there. Stay away from this. Say yes to that. Say no to that. So you really, it's really, really important for you to trust, like, and I'm not sure if y'all believe, like, you know, on the other side, I mean, if you're watching, you know, souls don't die. So it's like, if souls don't ever die, they don't, energy doesn't die. It has to be transmuted. So I don't know if y'all believe that you guys definitely have someone close to you. You guys even be having like paranormal activity in your home. You guys could be seeing ghosts, hearing things, seeing things, and that's okay. It's a it's a loved one that's letting you know they're here to protect you, guide you, and keep you safe and try to let you see the truth about someone that's trying to like put you underneath some type of spell. This is also like your your guardian angel helping you manifest what you really want for yourself, what you really want for your life. Okay, it's time to tell Father God exactly what you want so that it can happen, so that it can come towards you. It's meant to. It's meant for you to, like, ch change up your energy. It's time for you to not act different, but, like, really evolve, really transform, really grow, really know, like, what, what talents, what spiritual gifts that you hold within, because we all hold different gifts, you know? I have different gifts than you do, but we all are connected, you know? That's why I may have a similar gift than you, or you may have a similar gift than me. I may have a different gift than you. You may have a different gift than me. It's something about you really understanding what Father God instilled in you. Because he gave it to you. He gave it to you. He will be asking me, oh, Mecca, well, how'd you do it? I've been born. I was born this way. What do you mean? Like, <laughs> I didn't do no. What do you mean? You got something about you guys being born this way. And having to learn it and understand it and accept it and embrace it. Okay, yeah, things that you are manifesting is coming in with the three of wands. You guys can even be waiting for certain changes or waiting for certain things to take place. Yeah, it's all about you standing true to you, standing in your power, Virgo. Earth energy with the nine of pentacles, very wealthy, very successful, very abundant. Y'all about to start on a new project and it's going to take off. Okay, and there's someone that's pissed off about it. I cannot make it up. They're pissed because they see that this is a new idea, a new passionate start, a new breakthrough for you, and somebody's pissed. This could be someone that's an air sign, or they just militant, aggressive. They like to fight. They like to argue. What's this not of yours? Yeah, somebody sees that you are about to get everything that you want, and it's your time to shine, literally. <laughs> With the Wheel of Fortune, this is Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo energy is here. Yeah, and you're about to come into union. With the two of cups, there's a relationship that's coming in. This is something that you guys have been praying about for a long time. I see it with the star. This is public recognition. This is like you embracing your spirituality, your religious beliefs, your faith. Okay, this is a renewal in your energy. This is a renewal in like, oh, you gaining wisdom. You gaining insight. You getting direct downloads from up above. Tell me about the nine of swords. And yeah, there's someone that wants to come. To, okay, so this energy wants to come towards you because you are an empress. You could be someone that's very beautiful, very divine. You could be a mother. The Empress is usually a mother. It doesn't have to be. They just give up that mother and divine energy. Okay, somebody here is, is wanting to, they want to start something new with you with the Page of Pentacles, male or female. You guys are attracting what serves you in your highest good. That's why you're embodying this very divine energy. And it's like they want, hmm, they want you to reject what's, what's really yours. Somebody here feels rejected. Yeah, this could have been someone that juggled you with the Two of Pentacles. Or that's juggling their money, their resources. Cancer energy is here as well. It's also someone that could be like a celebrity or very well known or an influencer with the Aquarius energy with the star. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Somebody here, oh yeah, they're about to try to come towards you. Somebody here's trying to reach, they're trying to reach out to you. 
Okay, everything is working out for you and your highest good. Virgo, the, this energy wants to confuse you about a relationship because they really want to hurt you. The Seven of Swords, so you need to be mindful. I'm telling you, this Nine of Swords is like screaming at me. It's someone that's really, really mad that you're able to stand on your own two feet. You have financial blessings. You have your own like car, your own home, your own career, your own goals, your own aspirations. Somebody here wants you to be solely involved about them. Okay, they didn't understand that you, mm, that you actually listen to your intuition. Somebody here is like being really caught off guard by your energy because they thought that they could keep you in a connection where they could cheat on you, hurt you, betray you, sabotage you, lie to you, belittle you, confuse you, keep you as an option with the seven of cups. And somebody here was going to act like everything was fine. Like this is the way that a relationship is supposed to be. And it's not. Yeah, with the three of swords. Somebody here is like going to, they're either about to experience like a really painful wake up call with a breakup, a betrayal. You guys could be breaking up with someone or this is some this is a situation, a connection that's getting ready to come to an end. There's also about to be a faded event. Father God wants you to choose you with the wheel of fortune. It's all about you choosing you, you elevating. Okay. I'm seeing here with the wheel of fortune. Tell me about the wheel of fortune. Yeah, something that you guys are manifesting. And you could have been really stressed out about it too with the four of swords. Something had you like stressed or like making you feel like you weren't going to be able to get it done or it wasn't going to be able to come towards you. Yeah, there's someone that's hopeful. That, okay. What you guys are waiting on, there's someone that's watching, hopeful that you will miss it. Okay. This could be a new opportunity, a new connection. You know, Father God could have brought in new people or a new idea, a new blessing, a new financial blessing, a new project. Something new is coming towards you. Okay. And someone here is really, really hopeful. They're watching, they're studying you, they're waiting on an opportunity to, to make you miss it. They don't want you to like embrace new because they know if you embrace new, you, you'll move away from them. Yeah, the seven of pentacles. I see you investing though. I see you like really contemplating, really reflecting because something new is here. With the ace of wands, it's all about you taking action towards it. Yeah, you guys could be dealing with a king of swords. Ooh, y'all are, wow. Y'all have an emperor, king of swords, stressed out. Hey, this is somebody that could be like, ooh, this could, ooh, this could be someone, this could even be mm, someone that you have children with. You could be married to this individual. You could have gotten a divorce from them or could be with the king of swords. King of swords are usually divorced as well. This could be someone that's very much in a place of power. They like control. They, they like rank. They like their way in certain things, okay? And this person is stressed out now. They are stressed. They are stressed. It's like you coming out as the empress first lets me know that your energy was elevating them. Like you were bringing them up. Somebody here, like your energy, you being able to be very nurturing, being able to provide. It's like whoever you choose or whoever's in your energy, you are you elevate to an emperor energy. It doesn't even have to be because you see how it came up with the king of swords. This person doesn't even have to be like a an emperor. They could just be someone that's older. Or they could just be a father figure. But this person is very calculating with the king of swords. This person is stressed out about things that you know or about things that you are getting ready to do. I'm telling you, Virgo. And it's an ending that you are doing that Father God is orchestrating you to do. With the sun, okay? 333, three, three, as I said, this is something about your wealth, your security, your stability, how you are able to do it. Whoever you choose turns into that emperor energy because of you. It's you that's carrying this person or it's like you could be taking care of this individual and it's like it's making this person feel like, oh, I got it. I got it made with the emperor. Okay. It's something about this. Ooh. You could even miss someone that was trying to like, oh, match your energy in different ways to make you believe like they are your person with the king of swords. Somebody was very calculating in your energy, but it was about your money, your resources. What's this king of swords? You could be putting something to an end like completely. Or you could be ending something completely. Yeah, something was about the money. And this person is heartbroken now because you may have realized this now or, you know, somebody here was hopeful they were going to get a payout, a check from you. You're going to be able to take care of them with this Queen of Pentacles energy. And I hope this isn't offensive to y'all, but this is just the energy that's coming out. Somebody here, like, is a, a lot of jingalos and a lot to do. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> I'm a jingalo. Somebody is a jingalo. Like, somebody here, yeah. And it's all about listen to your intuition and make a final decision or make a final judgment. Because somebody here is like they, they have a plan and their plan is to to get money from you. Ace of Pentacles, to get your blessings of financial security that of, of what God is trying to give you to succeed, to, to elevate. 
It's something about this person wanted to get you in a contract, wanted to get you in a marriage, okay, with this empress and this emperor, or get you pregnant, okay, or get pregnant by you. Yeah, you need to really see the truth because Father God is saying this will be nothing but turmoil, nothing but conflict, nothing but drama, nothing but competition, nothing but discord. It's time for a new start because we have new suitors. I know you saw that night of, oh, that was a night of cups, y'all. I have pushed it back. That want to come towards you in this new, on this new path. I hope this resonated with you. And peace and blessings be to you always. And I'll be seeing you on the next video.